And at that time, this was 22 years ago, you could buy one ounce of extremely concentrated St. John's wort oil from Frontier for eight bucks. Wow. So I would buy that one ounce and it, it was almost black. So I would take an empty eight ounce bottle, pour the one ounce from Frontier in it, and then fill it up with grapeseed oil. Oh. And it would produce a blood red oil used topically, worked great. Well, then Frontier stopped making it. Oh. But my husband and I used to ride a bike trail up north of us here. And we're riding along the bike trail in June, middle of June, probably about that day. And lo and behold, there's St. John's Wort growing alongside the bike trail. So I picked it judiciously. And I wasn't, initially, the first time I wasn't really equipped. I, I just picked it and put it in my backpack. And it, it took us probably two hours from the time I picked it till I was home again in order to process it. <clears throat> so then I would make arrangements. We would bike again and I would take a jar with a small amount of oil, pick the blossoms into the oil in my backpack and bike it home. Did that for about four years. And one year we went up to pick St. John's wort and it was gone. <laughs> and I was semi hysterical. I mean, I can't live without this stuff. I have to have my St. John's wort oil. Fortunately, I had a quart left from the previous year. So I set about to figure out how I could provide or, you know, have St. John's wort readily available. I got seed from Richter's in Canada. You can't buy seed in this country. It's illegal. All right. And I had to have it professionally germinated. It's tough to get started. Once you get it started, it goes like crazy, but it's tough to germinate. So I planted my front flower bed full of St. John's wort. And Jennifer came one year. This was 10 years ago when I first planted it. And we were waist deep. <laughs> solid St. John's work. Just pick, 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 pick. Because she's like an hour's drive away from me. She doesn't just pop over for tea. And, uh, but she could um, pick enough in one trip for a quart of oil. So she was very pleased. Wow. So I learned, um, you know, my St. John's Ward is right out my front door. Um, I generally teach my students you need to pick between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. because that's when the oil rises in the plant. Um, one of Jennifer's excellent digital photographs shows you the little black dots on the edge of the flower petals, and that's the oil. If you look at a leaf, if you hold a leaf up to the sun, you'll see what people call dots. If they appear white, they're empty oil glands. If they appear black, they're full. So around here at this latitude, between 10 and 2, my front yard faces southwest. Um, the oil has risen in the plant. You can tell because as you pick, you get little black dots on your fingers and your thumb. And uh, so I would, every morning, day, between 10 and 2, I go out and I pick. I, what I do with all the oil I buy in like January, February, I buy the oil for the year and initially, I infuse it with fresh lavender. I strain that off. And about that time, the St. John's wort starts. So then I pick the St. John's wort into the lavender oil. Um, I have gallon jars, and I'll, I'll have them about half full of the lavender oil. And then as you pick every day into the oil, it, it rises. You know, it fills the jar. And um, so I pick till it's full. And I pick. In my yard, when my crop is going well, I pick from the 18th or 20th of June through till the end of August, beginning of September. And there may be a few hardy souls that persist even, even later. So I pick all I can pick. And then there's a function of economy where I have more St. John's wort than I have than I can afford oil. I can only afford so much oil. So I'll I'll pick the St. John's wort till the jar is full. Then I strain it off and I have this really wild friggin' riggin' thing. Uh, I use a oil filler for a semi in a jar and strainers and all this stuff because you have to, um, you, you, you pour it in and you get most of the oil, but there's so much plant material and so much surface area that there's a couple, three, four ounces of oil left in that plant material. And it's just way too expensive to throw away. So it will sit overnight. 
and finish draining all the oil off the plant material. So that's the first infusion. So then I take that oil back out front because my St. John's wort is still going strong. And I just keep picking and putting it in the oil till it fills up the jar, strain that off. I triple infuse my oil, mm. but you need to pick it roughly between 10 and two when the dew has burned off and the yeah. oil has risen. Last summer, we had a rainy year and I was retired. I was home all the time, but I was having a terrible time. You know, I'm, I'm out there at 10 o'clock. Nope, it's wet. I'm out there at 1030. Nope, 11. Nope, 12, 2, 2. It's coming up on 2 o'clock and I have yet to pick any. There's a lot there, but it's wet. What am I going to do? And I was semi panicked. So I finally just, I don't know what made me think of it. I took an aluminum baking sheet, clipped the tops of all the plants with the flowers and the leaves, put it on the aluminum baking sheet, put it in the bed of my pickup truck, which has a black liner. So the sun beat in there when it did finally quit raining and dried all the rain off. So then I could turn around and put it in the oil without, um, you know, water and oil don't mix. You don't want water in your oil. So yeah. that's, that, that was what I learned to do last year, 22 years into the making. Yeah, you don't want to uh, do or rain on the St. John's Wort. You can even taste the difference. It kind of dilutes the, the flower. Yeah. Um, maybe, yeah, and we should point out, so you're picking the flowers or do you pick the flower tops as well or just the flower? And the leaves, there's oil in those leaves too. It's yeah. like lavender. People want the flowers and they, there's just as much oil in the leaves as there is in the flowers. There's just as much fragrance, you know? So I will snip. It depends on how much time I have, how much oil I have, what the situation is that day. Um, but typically I will just, with my fingers, just pluck. Yeah the petals and the flowers and whatever leaves come with them is fine. Thanks for joining us. If you are interested in learning more, you can visit our website at matthewwoodinstituteofherbalism.com. You can find all of our social links in the description below. Also, please subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with the latest videos.